Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing very well today. Got an interesting video lined up for you guys. A brand new model from Lava. This is the Lava Me 4 Spruce. So you still get a ton of the features of the carbon fiber guitar, but if you're not a huge carbon fiber fan, well, they've got you covered. Check out the uh, beautiful figuring on this one and the spruce top. Spruce bracing, as you can probably see through the sound hole there. So yeah, a much more organic guitar with all the technology of the Lava Me 4. And we're gonna do a little comparison up against the carbon fiber. Now, personally, I love carbon fiber. It's super durable. It's impervious to changes in temperature and humidity. You can also do things like create super soft edges, which makes for a very comfortable playing experience. Things that you just can't do with wood. And if, you know, Gray is just a little too boring for you. Well, you can also do things like this. <laughs> so this is the Lava Me 4 Carbon. Uh, yeah, you can get, you know, just the regular gray. You can also do something a little bit more outlandish with this uh, incredible sparkle purple. And again, it has all those, you know, soft edges. So this is the flagship model, the Lava Me 4 Carbon. And we're going to compare it up against the Lava Me 4 Spruce. Now, in terms of the features on the spruce, um, they've actually done some nice rounding on the top edge. Now, obviously it's not like carbon fiber, uh, but if, uh, yeah, it's just not a straight 90. It's probably hard to see on there, but there's some nice beveling all the way along here, which just when you put your arm up there, doesn't feel, you know, like on the back edge here, you can see that's like a straight 90, like a traditional acoustic guitar. And on the front edge, just softened ever so slightly. So really appreciate some small detail like that. Um, you do get the charging ports for the dock. I'll show you that in a second. And the output, um, you know, for playing live and plugging in. All the technology, as I mentioned, which makes a lava a lava. And uh, ultra slim neck joint. Really nice, that compact headstock shape with these tuners. And you've got the truss rod with the magnetic cover on the front, there you guys go. So that's like a quick look at the spruce. Uh, they chose really nice wood, this looks really nice. So we'll see what it sounds like in a second, especially up against the carbon fiber. And on the Lava Me 4 Carbon, obviously which I mentioned is the flagship model, some of the same features, ports for the dock, which is really, you know, kind of convenient. You just plop it into the dock and it starts charging automatically, which is nice. No cables to connect or anything like that. Um, on the neck joint, you can see there is no heel on the carbon version. So slim and so sleek. Uh, same kind of tuning machines. On the front, you do get the magnetic cover. This one's flush, which is nice. You just pop it up like that. You can pull it out, um, but it sits flush, whereas some of the other models, it sits kind of on top. So that's a nice sleek feature for the Lava Me 4. It also enables you to set the action up just the way you want it. Even though it's carbon fiber and the neck's not gonna be moving, some people like higher action, some people like lower action, and having the truss rod on this uh, model enables you to tweak the neck a little bit uh, to your preference, which is a really nice feature. Other than that, there's a look at the bridge, the logo, and everything on uh, a lava guitar, as you guys know, is just clean. So that's a look at the carbon fiber. Obviously, uh, we'll see what the sound difference is. Uh, in my experience, carbon fiber has a much more kind of immediate tone and wood tends to kind of just kind of like float in with not as much attack. We'll see if it's the same uh, on the lava guitars here. I'm gonna start by miking them up. So I'm gonna use a condenser mic and just kind of mic up the sound holes and just see the acoustic tone between the two. And then we'll add some effects and see if that makes a difference. <laughs>
So let me know in the comments section below which guitar you guys thought sounded the best, the spruce or the carbon fiber. I'd be interested to know which guitar you guys thought sounded the best. So here are my final thoughts on the Lava Me 4 Spruce versus the Carbon Fiber. Now the first thing to note is what makes a Lava guitar a Lava is the software. I covered the 2.0 software in my Lava Me Play video. Check that one out where we actually you know, do some looping and, and using the software. Insanely powerful tool. That is not an exaggeration. If you're an intermediate player, brand new, seasoned player, there's going to be a ton of stuff built straight into the guitar that is ridiculously useful from you know improvising over various chord progressions to just you know looping to drums to you know almost anything you can imagine like tab coming across your screen to learn licks and solos <laughs> and uh, all sorts of different tools uh, there's daily challenges to keep you like using your guitar and learning it's like yeah insane what they've done and it's so easy to use you don't need any instructions it's like so intuitive. So the software and how polished it is, is insane. It's so good. So it really makes any lava guitar a lava guitar. The flagship model here, the Carbon, does get upgraded uh, chipset in here. So just in terms of like, you know, swiping around, maybe it's a little quicker or something like that. So the, the Carbon Fiber version gets the most um, up-to-date chipset in terms of the technology, um, but the features, all for the 2.0 update uh, is similar. So doesn't matter which one you get, you're gonna get all the learning tools. And for me, that is like a massive, massive plus. Thanks so much for watching you guys. If you wanna see a budget version of these guitars, check out my video on the Lava Me Play. Affordable guitar, same technology, which I think makes it one of the best beginner guitars currently out there. I will link to these two guitars, which are more of the flagship models, uh, in the video description below. Uh, still pretty reasonable priced for a carbon fiber guitar, so check that out. Uh, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Other than that, have a great day. Take care.